Hi, well I'm at the Wealden Downland Living Museum and I'm taking a look at a few of the buildings before most of the public arrive. It's quite early in the morning, I've been camping here and there's this beautiful little chapel, St Margaret's Church, which used to be at Wonston in Hampshire. Anyway, let's take a closer look. So here we have a little church or chapel uh, built in 1908, so it was uh, originally sited at South Wonston in Hampshire and it was taken apart and re-erected here at the Weald and Downland Museum. It's quite small, 30 foot long, 15 foot wide, with a little porch and vestry. And it's a very simple, pleasing design and probably very typical of so many chapels and churches at the turn of the century. So it's made out of corrugated iron. The church around the corner from me used to be known as the Iron Church because it was made of corrugated iron. They then later on built a nice firm one. It's a lovely simple building, good honest bit of work. The corrugated iron they used to galvanise it so it wouldn't rust and of course you'd want to keep it liberally painted as well. I have seen these where they've completely rusted away and it's a very sad sight. Here's the end view and there's a little bell tucked up by the window there. You can imagine it summoning people to chapel on Sunday. Coming around the side you've got the little vestry. So that will be where the priest or vicar would have been changing, getting ready for mass. And again you've got these nice simple windows. I just like a building like this because it's an honest, sort of simple building. It's not being pretentious, it's just functional and rather nice. It's lovely to see it preserved. These are just literally rusting away, there aren't that many now. And there you are, your little parish notice board. It's lovely to approach this little doorway. You can imagine people in times gone by coming to a chapel for their worship. And it's got all the essentials of a chapel. You've got your church organ, so a nice little pedal organ. And then your lectern with your altar. Your hymn number board up there. And of course all the chairs made to take hymn books in the back. So you've got little slots for your hymn book. And in the side you've got a little room for the priest or vicar to change into their garments. And just in case you're thinking of christenings, there's a little baptismal font as well. I do like the windows. Nice little, very simple, but very pleasing to the eye, little curved tops. And they obviously open at the top there as well. And it's very simple inside, but you've got little detailing. So on the roof here, you've got these little ventilation holes put in the cross beam. So yeah, lovely to see this. Again, another building that's been preserved at the Wealden Downland Museum.